Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Brody. Welcome to another Clark's Adventure. Uh-oh, we have a special guest. Nathan is in the can house. What's that? Can I go play outside? You sure can go play outside. Okay. okay. So, today on Clark's Adventures, we are going to be talking about taking your Pinewood Derby axles and polishing them. So I've got some axles here, and these are have not been polished. I just pulled these out, got them at the local Hobby Lobby. They were a buck ninety nine, um, rated BSA. And what I'm doing today, I have a couple of of uh, car derby cars that I didn't like the speed that I got. And I think it's because I overbent my axle. So I'm redoing my axles, which kind of stinks because each axle takes, unfortunately with the way I do it, it takes about 20 minutes per axle. So you're going to have about an hour and a half's time uh, invested in polishing these axles. However, that hour and a half is very, very well spent if you're not wanting to spend, you know, $30, $35 um, from one of the Pinewood Derby companies that are online that have them already pre-polished. You know, that may be something that you're you're interested in doing as well, but they're kind of expensive. I mean, they're $30, $35 when you can do it for $1.99 and take care of it. Uh, you just need your drill. Just need a little drill um, for instead of buck ninety nine, and then you get, get the uh, satisfaction of having done it yourself as well. So here's all I do. Um, we're going to come in here. Well, actually, I'll get it on here first. So we just put this on the end of the drill, the, the, the axle. Just goes on the end of the drill, just like you would put in your drill bit, and lock it in place. And we're going to look at, see right out of the gate, this is why they give you five axles instead of four. This first one that I put in, you can see it's not all circular. So I would probably not end up using this. It's got kind of a half point on it. Um, that's not world ending in terms of as long as you get it. Uh, let me see if I can get it. See, you can see. You can see right there that there's a burr on your nail. And that is something that we want to get off. And since we want to get that burr off, and I don't really like this axle, this one I'm not going to end up using, but that's why they give you five in case there is a problem. Um, yeah, see this one here is fully cir circular. So I'm going to put this one in. And we, oh, we had, we had a snowstorm today. And so uh, Nate's got a chore to go and clean off the, clean off the patio stairs. Uh, he, he helped me do the original axles. I'm just, I don't know, we, we didn't, my, his, his car got second place overall in our pack. So we did his car right. But we had an adult race and my car didn't do so hot. <laughs> I, you know, it's hit and miss sometimes. Um, we, we've had pretty good luck over the last few years, but it's, it is hit and miss sometimes on, you know, you just didn't get something tweaked quite right. But we're working on my car today, so that's why it's my responsibility to get the axles done and he gets to go out and play. Because his car, his car is set and ready to go for districts this next weekend. And I wanted to uh, try and make my car just a little faster because I signed up for the adult race in that. And anyway, so that's, that's kind of why he's not having a lot of interest in what we've got going on. So here's some of the first things that we do. So we have a, yes, we have a triangular file, just a little triangular file, and I have a flat file. And you will start by taking and taking that triangular file, and we got to get those burrs shaved off of the head. The head of that axle has to has to get completely flat and get the burrs shaved off. So we're just going to run the we're going to run the drill. And we're going to run it across and get all those burrs shaved off of it. 
And this won't get it nice and smooth. It'll be a little bit, we'll get the burrs off. And then we just kind of circle around and with your eye, see there's still one more on there. Looks like we got one of the two. And I like this triangular file better because it just, it gets that head just a little bit. However, you can use this flat file if that's all you have and just put it up against the head and it'll shave, shave a little bit to, of the axle on where the wheel is going to be as well. You can turn it sideways. So then I'm going to look it over. And it looks like I got it all. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do, we're going to take uh, sandpaper. Cut it into just little strips, just about that big. And if you're having a problem with getting your burrs on, uh, all the way off and smoothing things out, start out with like a, a 150 to a 240, something like that. Somewhere right in there, uh, sandpaper. I ordered online on Amazon, I ordered this package of sandpaper. It goes from 150 to 3000 grit. That's where our finishing number is, is at 3000. We're gonna go all the way up progressively to 3000 grit and it's going to be shiny as can be. Next up, go to your son's toy box and see where his Lego bin is. Almost everyone has Legos. I went and found found Nathan's. I went and found this Lego piece right here. That's all the more you need. This is one of the most important tools in your entire uh, Pinewood Derby toolkit is this little Lego piece. Because every time you polish an axle, you're gonna use this Lego piece. You're gonna take this sandpaper and the Lego piece, and you just take and whip it around there, like so. Fell off on me. And this one is a 240 grit that I'm going to start with because I just bought some new files. I started off with a 150 the last time because my older file, this one that I used to use, it kind of doled out on me. We've been using it for a couple of years now. So I went to the hardware store and I got this triangle file and it just, I mean, it took the burrs right off. So I know, I know it was kind of old. Anyway, you take and put your sandpaper on this Lego piece. And this Lego piece is all, all the more that you need for your wheel. And you'll just start your drill and sand the section and you, you take this, the end part of this Lego piece and butt it up against the front the top of the axle there where the head is at where the where we got the burrs all off of because if those burrs we want to smooth that out just as well just as much because the wheel can touch against it and we don't want it to touch against if it does touch when it does touch against it we want it to be smooth as the rest of the of the axle so we'll just do this and now we're out of we're out of paper, so we take and take where the fold is at and fold it back down. And then we'll do that until we've used up all the paper, all the sandpaper. One more time. Okay, then you'll progressively do this. Um, I like to kind of double my sandpaper. So like I'm at 240. So then my next one will be No, I started at 150. So my next one will then be 320 So I start with a 150 and You can go 240 and if you are able and have a fresh file and get all the burrs off You can start at that 320 and you can skip two steps by doing that. So we have a 320, and then I bump up to 600, and then I bump up to 1,000, 
and then I bump up to 1500 and then I finish with a 3000. You don't need to cut this sandpaper any longer than what this Lego piece is, widthwise. It could probably even be just a hair smaller than the Lego piece if you're short on sandpaper. But if you make it too wide, bigger than the sandpaper, that drill is going to slip and you could cut your finger on the tip of the of the axle and we don't want to do that so um, anyway we've got I've got some finished finished axles here and you can tell a huge difference on which axle is polished and which one's not now these are two a 3000 grit and you can just see how smooth that this is to this one. They're just a huge difference on, difference on smoothness. And you can kind of see a burr on that one on the right. And that one on the left, the head is, is completely just as shiny as the rest. And you don't need to do the whole nail either. Um, you know, most of that nail goes into the derby car. So all you're needing to do is the size of the uh, the size of the Lego. And this is all the bigger the Lego is. And we just keep going until uh, until you've used that sheet up. And once you've used that sheet up, you can toss it, throw it away, and uh, you're going to have a lot of success. This right here is one of the secrets. It's not even a secret. It's just, uh, it's very time consuming. Everyone knows to polish your axles, but it's time consuming. So some people don't spend as much time on it, but this to me is one of the secrets other than, other than where you're placing your weights to having that fast derby car. So if you'll just spend the hour and a half that it takes to polish these axles, you're going to have a lot more success. That car will be faster. Uh, again, as long as you have as well put your weight in the right spot, your five ounces in, in the right spot in the rear of the car, and you're going to have all kinds of success. Um, you also, well, we'll do that in another video. Um, We'll talk about wheels in another one, uh, what, what we do with our wheels. But um, axles, wheels, and weight placement are the three keys to having a fast derby car. And it, I'd like to say that, you know, the aerodynamics does play into it. However, I've seen small cars, small, tiny, flat little cars lose to a big block just because the weight placement was correct the wheels were correct and the axles were correct polished up and done right anyway hope you enjoyed the tips uh if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them down below don't forget to smash that like button uh subscribe button we're we're always looking for subscribers so uh, i appreciate it and hope that it helped out good luck at your son's derby and enjoy the race. Oh